Okay, so in the first video, we went over how to set up a client. So this is the client we've set up. Now in this next video, I'm gonna show you how to schedule your first job. Now there are a couple of different ways we could set up a job. The first way we could do it is going up to this plus button and just clicking on one-time job. So the quick add feature allows you to do it from anywhere in the system. We could also do it from the dispatch board or the calendar. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna just show you how to do it on the client's page. So let's go ahead and scroll down until you get to the portion that says add a job. We're gonna click add a job. And notice here, we could add different types of jobs. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna add a one-time job. And then once that overlay appears, we're gonna go ahead and select the service that we're gonna be performing. So in this case, I'm gonna search for maintenance because we're gonna do a maintenance service and it's residential maintenance, they're a residential client. And if you haven't set up your services yet, I would recommend doing that. You can also import them in QuickBooks from QuickBooks if you're doing the QuickBooks Sync, or you may have already done so during the setup process. But once those are in there, you'll have a bunch of services to select in this list. And you're gonna first put in your start date and this is gonna be the date that you're gonna be performing the work on, so you could change that here. And then you can assign it to a resource. Now your resources are either gonna be your employees, your vendors, or your crews. That's how Service Autopilot designates those resources. So in this case, let's say it was a crew, A team, I can select that crew. Now you could leave this unassigned, but if we know who it's gonna be ahead of time, easier just to assign that now. And then I'm gonna come over here and adjust my quantity and my rate. So because this is a per unit service, the quantity is gonna multiply by the rate to get the total. So watch what happens if I adjust this quantity to two. Look how it changes the total here. Now in this case, I want the quantity to remain at one because this is a one job that we're doing. And I could adjust the rate if I needed to and I can also adjust the budgeted hours. Now the budgeted hours are gonna be budgeted man hours. That's how B hours is in our system. So anytime you see B hours in Service Autopilot, you know that's budgeted man hours. And in this case, it's 0.25 budgeted hours for this job, so 15 minutes. And this is gonna be how long would it take one man to do this job? So in this case, it would take one man to do this job 0.25 hours, 15 minutes. And then we can adjust the days. So how long is this job gonna be? If it's a multi-day job, I can adjust this. And then I can put in a start and end time. So let's say we're gonna start at 2 p.m. and go to 2.52. We could do that as well. We could put in a start and end time, but this is not a requirement. You don't need to have appointment times, but some companies operate that way. So the other thing I'm gonna do is select a discount if I need that. This allows you to select a discount type, which you'll have to select and create ahead of time. You put in your rate and then an expiration date if let's say this is a recurring job and you need it to end after a certain number of occurrences after a certain date, you could put an expiration date in that there. Go ahead and exit out of that. And then this tool here, this little gear icon, allows you to do several different things. So you can first update your notes. Go ahead and update my notes here. Now this first one is a job note. And let's say that I wanted to put in a job note for my guys and tell them to close the gate when you're finished. So this is gonna be a job note that they'll see either on the mobile device or on the route sheet or the work order and I could also change my invoice description if it wanted it to be different than the default. So the default's gonna be what you have set up at the service level, but if I needed to change that, I could do so here. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And the other thing under this gear icon is the add products to service. So if I needed to add a product to this service, I could select it from the list and it would pre-fill based on the defaults you have set up and it would add this product to that service. But in this case, I don't need that, so I'm gonna delete it. And then let's go here and show you the last tool, which is the Edit Budgeted Hours Override. Well, this is a really nifty tool 
it will actually allow you to price your services correctly. So ahead of time, you typically want to know how long does it take me to do this job. So you might say, well, we have two men on the job, and typically that's going to take 15 minutes. So the budgeted hours is going to be 0.5, 0.5 budgeted hours. And at a rate of 35, which is my rate, times the budgeted hours, I'm achieving a $70 man hour rate. So let's say we know that we actually need to achieve a higher man hour rate in order for our company to run. Say in our company, we need to be making $100 a man hour to keep up with costs. And notice what that does is it will allow me to adjust the rate to 50. It'll suggest, well, you need to adjust your rate to 50 or you need to adjust your budgeted hours to 0.35. So in this case, let's say I say, well, I know that I can't adjust my budgeted hours. It's going to take them that long no matter what, but I can adjust my rate. So I can go ahead and click this here and this will apply that rate to the job and exit and look at how it added $50 and changed the rate there. And so once I have everything set up, I can go ahead and save that. And notice it adds this one-time job for this client. And I want to show you one other thing here. When we were adding the note, we were adding it to the quick add spot. So there's a quick add option here under notes. Notice when I go back in here, the note doesn't appear anymore. Well, it's still there. It's just in a different spot. So I'm going to go up to notes and notice how we added it there. I could go back to this quick add spot and I could update and I could add a new one, save it, and then it adds it there. And so we'll save that job. We've created that successfully and that was adding a one-time job for a client. So the next thing we're going to cover in the next video is using the dispatch board.